you've probably seen influencers dropping fat fast. Some look like they skipped cardio and still peeled off 20 pounds. Here's the compound many of them are using. Ret a true tide. It's not hype, it works. And here's how. Ret a true tide is a triple agonist peptide. It targets three receptors. GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide. GIP, glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. Glucagon receptor. That's why it's called a triple agonist. It mimics the body's own metabolic hormones. That means it boosts insulin sensitivity, slows gastric emptying, and suppresses hunger. Here's what retitrutide does. Slows down digestion, lowers appetite drastically, improves insulin response, increases resting energy expenditure. The GLP-1 and GIP agonism reduce cravings and control blood sugar. The glucagon action ramps up fat burning by raising basal metabolic rate. You burn more at rest even if you're not moving. This is why it's more effective than ozempic or tirzepatide. Influencers don't have time to bulk and cut for months. Rita Trutide makes dieting effortless. Hunger is gone, energy stays steady, fat loss is fast and visible. It helps them stay shredded without crash diets. And since it keeps blood sugar stable, they avoid brain fog or binge eating. That's a cheat code for lean camera ready physiques. People using Reta True Tide often report rapid fat loss without muscle loss, better insulin control, improved focus from fewer sugar crashes, steadier energy during workouts, lower inflammation. It's also being studied for type 2, diabetes, obesity, and liver fat reduction. Start low, go slow. Typical starting dosage, 0.5 milligrams once per week, then week one to two, 0.5 milligrams, week three to four, 1.0 milligrams, week five to six, 1.5 milligrams, max effective range, 2.5 to four milligrams weekly, inject subcutaneously in the stomach or thigh. Best done in the morning on an empty stomach. Stacking with the resistance training boosts results. Protein intake should stay high to avoid muscle loss. Side effects, nausea, bloating, constipation, fatigue in the first weeks. Start slow to avoid these. Don't mix with other appetite suppressants. Always track blood sugar and weight weekly. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.